What's the crack, lads? So sometime around last year, Guinness brought out, we've had this whole ongoing saga with the Zero Zero. Some people, when they brought out the cans, people despised them. They had to get, get the cans sent back because there was something wrong with them. Then they brought out the micro draft tap with the kind of fancy can. And then last year they brought out the first ever proper Zero Zero tap with a keg. I went and tried it and it wasn't great. Over a year has passed and they've rolled out these taps all around Dublin, possibly even all around Ireland. And it was high time to see, has it improved? And by Jay's, I tell you what lads, I was surprised. Massive thanks to the sponsor of the video, making things happen as per usual, the lads over at Surfshark. Uh, what's that? Surfshark is a VPN, virtual private network. Basically that's this, come here, come here, come here. It's an app slash kind of web extension, whatever fancy thing you want to call it, that lets you place your phone or laptop anywhere in the world. You're not actually putting it somewhere else in the world, don't worry, you're just making it think it is. <laughs> like what? Literally, why would I need to do that? I tell you for why, to quote the great Brian from Gavin and Stacey, because let's say you live in Ireland or the UK, then you can't access the American Netflix, which yeah, a newsflash, it's different. Or if you're in little old Ireland like me, you wanna watch Match of the Day, keep up with the title race and that, but yeah, tribal, but you can't access the BBC iPlayer. All you gotta do is whip out Surfshark, stick the location down as London, and now your laptop is located in the UK, meaning you can watch Match of the Day. Also with Surfshark, everything you search is kept totally private, all your passwords, email addresses, but those hacker bastards will not be able to get at your information. Just another one of the many perks of using Surfshark. And if you want to use it, use my code Guinness to get 83% off plus three months for free. It's an absolute no-brainer, lads. It costs you next to nothing, so you might as well use it. Thank you, Surfshark. On to the video with some very surprising results. popular at the moment. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Well, see, the cans, we heard about the cans, yes, yes. and we didn't want to go near them because it's, they take so long. Each can takes so long to, to pour. Yeah. So if somebody asked for two or three pints, yeah. it's a nightmare. So when this came out, it was just a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. We had the Heineken uh, zero, 00, and I had the Estrella, uh, which is O'Hara's. Mm. But this has killed both of them because everybody else drinks Guinness in here, kind of a Guinness pub, so when they want something uh, the like, oh, we have Guinness zero, 00. Yeah, it's just snow rain. I, I tried it myself. Somewhere in Blanche, it was like the first place to get it. Right. And all the clowns fill it in. You managed to pour about five pints of it. And it just, whereas that looks grand. Like. Well, see, we, same thing again. We only have like a pint and a half in the line, two pints in the line, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just the cold and it's so close and so easy. I mean, it's perfect. The guy inside drinking it. Yeah. And there's a couple of people have asked me for it today already, yeah. so yeah, it's just no brainer, it just sells very, very well. And it looks the part. I've had a few pints myself, I have no be issue. Fair. With, you know? And I do think there's a big revolution in, in non alcoholic stuff. Like oh, it's huge, just yeah, yeah. People just couldn't be arsed being bollocks the next day and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And obviously, there's other reasons. But. Well, other reasons is like. Years ago, when you asked for an alcoholic, you got a big blue bottle and a tall glass, and you, you know, Erdinger, and people were going, What's wrong with you? You're off the drink, you know? Yeah. Whereas you're standing in the crowd, you have a pint in your hand, and nobody knows the difference of whether you're on or off. And there's only so much 7 Up and Coke and Ballygown you can drink. Yeah, you know, exactly. Jesus, so yeah. you want a pint, it's, it does make a difference, you know? 100%. Well, there you Great, nice it. one, thank you. 10 cents cheaper, so it's 6 10. 6 10. Perfect. Thanks, boss. Yeah. No, no, no. Right lads, on the zero. That looks like, oh my days. Till test. Not fucking bad. Let's launch it lads. Right lads, this is, this is big. This changes everything because that first up was not bad. So it was here to do a review on O'Hara's Stout. Did that. And then the barman, I, I saw the Guinness tap in front of me. I just presumed it was a Guinness tap. And then he goes, this stuff's selling great as well. And it was a tap of Guinness Zero Zero. I've seen that they've been rolled out across Dublin a little bit, 
But I, I did the video last year. It was the first pub, the Clancilla Inn over in Blanchestown. It was the first pub to have the Guinness Zero Zero Tap. I went and if you saw the video, I think because it was brand new, it took them a few tries to get the point right. When you're ready. Do you know much about it? Is it similar to the regular Guinness tap or? I haven't tasted it. Though. You haven't tasted it? I think it's a sin. <laughs> Fair enough. Jeez, it's very, uh, yeah, it take a while to settle, does it? Uh, a flow on it, it right, okay, yeah. Well, I'd say it'd be probably best for everyone would maybe try, I don't mind paying or whatever, but. I wasn't mad on it. I said it was extremely watery and I just didn't really like it. About a year later, let me have another sip. You know me lads, I keep it real. I've said before I didn't like it. But anyway, I'll continue my story. A year later, they've obviously spent the last 12 months improving it. Like nothing's ever gonna be good at the start. Um, but I can't believe I'm saying it, but that is actually Pretty decent. It's normal Guinness is 6020 in here. This is 6010, so not much of a. I know the Guinness 00 cans seem to be far cheaper than regular Guinness cans. You can get like four for four euro or something. So not much of a. I'm trying to think of a very smart word here. Not much of a discount, even though it has no alcohol in it. So it's surprising it's not like a five or whatever, but anyway, it's drinkable. Like he said, they're, they're going through a couple of kegs in here a week, but they go through about 60 kegs of Guinness. So obviously it's nowhere near the normal Guinness. But it was poured well, it looked good. Yeah, I don't know, I think that's all right. I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't drink that. Like we, before when it tasted much worse, I would have said, to know if someone's been off the drink for 20 years and then they have it, they're not gonna know the difference because they haven't had a regular pint of Guinness in 20 years. But then on the other hand, someone like me who drinks this shy for a living, God knows how, but thank God, I would easily taste the difference and be kind of turned off by it. But now 12 months later, it seems like a completely different drink. It's creamy, it was so watery before. It's, you can still tell it's different. It's a little bit lighter, it's not as rich, not as flavoursome. But to be fair, it's fairly creamy, it's nice and cold, good temperature. The exact same old style glass, I'm delighted they haven't brought it out in the new style glass. Again, it just goes to show that what I've been saying all along is fact that the new style glass will be phased out by 2027. So the last thing we drank was the Pint of O'Hara's <coughs> for the other review. I'm sitting in the exact same, I probably should have sat somewhere else for a bit of a different aesthetic. But no one gives a shit about the aesthetic. It's about the pints. And I know I've, I have not pulled any punches in the past in saying that I was not a fan of the Zero Zero. Actually, that, that's gonna think I've been paid off. I wasn't even coming here to do this. I didn't even know they had it. I was coming here to do this, the O'Hara's. And so yeah, Barman was saying 10 years ago, because I was saying I, I, I it wouldn't take a genius to figure out, but I do think the sort of non-alcoholic revolution is, is definitely well on its way. And if companies can get it right, like Guinness seem to have done, I, I can't speak for the cans, but just this point, if companies can get it right, they'll do very well. Heineken for me were the first ones who, the first mainstream one who got on top of it. And Guinness obviously the first stout. Yeah, because the barman was saying, you know, there's only so many seven ups or cans of Coke you want to drink. And so we said, you know, you're out and about, you don't want to drink, you're off the drink for some reason. And also 10 years ago, if you got one of these, people would have said, Jesus, there's something wrong with you. Are you on antibiotics? You probably still would get that, but in another year, two, it's gonna happen very quickly. In another couple of years, you're not gonna, if you decide you're going out and having a non-alcoholic drink, no one probably bat an eyelid, because you still have that feeling of a pint in your hand. 
And unless you're on a big mad night where everyone wants to get feckin' locked, then not, why would anyone give a shit? If you're just going for a few casual points after work, a few casual ones for a match or on a Sunday, you're having, even if you're having four or five, your mates aren't going to give a shit if you're not drunk. So, yeah, I know I, this could get me back on the Guinness Christmas card list, lads. Um, and obviously it goes without saying, I hate that I always have to say this, but there, it's not like there's been any communication with Guinness and they said try it again or anything like that. This was totally on a whim, totally by my own accord. So we'll have none of that. But yeah, I gave it. The only thing is very little shtick, but taste wise, creamy wise, it's nice thick fat white head. It's very white, it's very fresh. End isn't great. Yeah, it doesn't. I can't even score it. There's nothing to compare it to. But that has changed my mind on whether if I was going out and not drinking beforehand, I wouldn't have even bothered with this. That's changed my mind now. If I was going to a pub. Before I would have just had like an Erdinger or something, Erdinger non-alcoholic. I think I'd have a few of them. I would, it kind of kills you to pay six euro for something that's no alcohol in it, but just to feel like you're, you're part of the crack to actually, it's actually not a bad point. Yeah, they have improved that unbelievably in the last 12 months. Some rare praise on my end for Guinness. But well done Guinness. That is obviously well done Mulligans for, for pouring it well and stuff like that, but hell of an improvement.